Hi Tribe, welcome to Woke Wednesday. I'm Shaman Durek and the elders and I have chosen the stones and the animal spirit. And the animal spirit is the bobcat. I do love the sound of that bobcat. Go ahead and check out the stones and find out what is the message for you. If you chose stone number one, what are you willing to give up in life to gain? Sometimes we have to make space for other things in our life and we have to move on it with complete proudness where we're open ourselves to really being able to see what's ahead of us and what we're focusing on. Like the Bobcat, we have to keep our vision and our focus clear. And to do that, we have to be willing to let go of things because sometimes we get overwhelmed with so many things. So what thing are you willing to let go to gain? Like one time in my life, I was willing to let go of playing video games for a week in order to bring in more opportunity for more ways to support humanity. It doesn't mean you're gonna do it forever. It means you're gonna do it for a season, for a reason. And this is about you being able to create that sheer focus so that you can hone in on what that is. So think about what are you willing to surrender for a season so that you can create a reason. If you've chose stone number two, this is about you connecting into your reasoning and how you deal with things when things show up. And are you a person that's reactive? Do you get upset really quickly? Are you frustrated? Do you jump to conclusions? Do you paint pictures in your head? Do you get caught up in creating stories that bring negativity both to you and other people? And if you are, it's about you changing your perspectives and getting into a higher place of consciousness with yourself and looking at everything from a sheer place of love, a place of wisdom, a place of compassion, and a place of grace. Realizing that the way that you perceive the world is the way you receive the world. So remembering that by you stepping into the vision of the cat and recognizing the power that it has before it makes action, you're going to see your life change in miraculous ways. And if you chose stone number three, this is about you understanding the clarities of life. What are the clarities of life? Well, the clarities of life are understanding that the energies and the things that you are perceiving are things that are constantly in motion and moving. So getting yourself caught up in one thing and dwelling in it for too long can actually bring about a lot of energies that you do not need. With the power of the Bobcat, you're able to move through those things by keeping things moving. Don't hold on to things. Don't say things are stuck or blocked. Locked. Know that everything is moving and the more you believe it's moving, the faster it will move and the easier you will move through it. Remember, this is a time of transition for you, a movement, a grace, an understanding that the rivers are flowing as long as you let them flow. But the moment you throw a rock in there because you're analyzing, judging, and getting caught up in it is the moment you become a dam and you block the goodness that can come into your life. Like the bobcat, keep moving and you will find what you need and you will survive and thrive greater than anything you know, because thr thriving is better than surviving. I love you so much, and if you enjoy Woke Wednesday as much as I do, you'll come back for next Wednesday, and you'll tell more people about it, and you'll post more about it, and let people know that they can get amazing messages that can lift their spirit and take them to higher places. And remember, like the Bobcat, keep your vision and what you want. Love you.